What's up, Cat Daddy on the scene? It's been a while. Remember one of the first videos I ever posted when I started this channel was, I'm gonna go see how to get that money. I'm gonna come back and show y'all. Today, I'm gonna show y'all how to get that paper and it's easy. And every day you just stack that paper. I'm gonna show y'all right here. So look, Forex. Look, if you already know about Forex, this video, it ain't for you. Cause I'm gonna tell you now, I'm not an expert. I'm just showing people who, like they never heard of it. I'm gonna show them how easy it is to just jump in, get that paper and get out. And let me just tell you right now, don't take any of my advice. I'm gonna show you a strategy that I use that's been helping me. You know, yesterday I clocked 200. Bam, right off the top. You know what, I'm gonna quit talking about it. Let me just jump in here and show these charts. This is forex.com. So these are the charts. You gotta look at these charts. And what they call these are candlesticks. The market, it's like a game. They try to trick you. You gotta stick around. That's what I'm about to show you right now. See, so I keep all my main pairs in this window. You can customize this window right here. Every day I'll go in and I'll be like, all right, where's today at the beginning of today? See the date at the bottom? 15 of April, now it's the 16. You cross this gray, this gray line here. So I take these markers and then I just mark off for that day, the highest high and the lowest low for the day. And so when I mark this, earlier you know it hadn't went any higher than that and so far it has gone all the way up to there these charts will bounce around in here hitting the resistance and the support right now it's a support but if it had dropped any lower and then tried to go back up it would have this would have now become a resistance point and that is how you basically read these graphs because the charts, they just bounce up and down, up and down. You just look to the left and you can get an idea of previous resistance zones. See, so you see this one goes all the way across. And then it dropped all the way down. And that's going to go all the way back up. When it goes back down, I mean, I don't know, it might go down to like right here possibly even down there. They'll try to trick you though. It'll be like, it's going down. And then you'll get in on it and it's gonna shoot up. And then you're like, oh, let me get out. And then you get out thinking you're gonna lose your money. And then so you just bam, close and lose your money. But not knowing, boom, it's about to go down. You just gotta read the charts. And that's how you do it with the, this RSI. If you look right here in the section, these numbers, boom, if you hover like to the highest point, it's 69. So it can either go up and then if it hits like 69 or waits in between like 66, 70, you can pretty much, you know, Say, all right, well, this is probably going to start dropping. But you have to be careful. You have to look at the overall trend, too. Like, you know, you can't just make decisions on that. I mean, you can, like, but when you do, you, like, you're just scalping. You're like, you just got to get in and get out. Because, you know, you have the different time frames. And right here is where you, boom, select. You know, one minute, two minutes. So like if I go one minute. Boom, this is every minute. So if you see right here, same thing, RSI. See, it goes up. If you look at those numbers to the left, 62. But look at here. You can go into like four hour charts. And you'll see the same thing. See, that's just the resistance. It goes up. That's when you know to sell. And so sell is boom right here. 
See, when it gets about to uh, 30, 34, that's when it's going to start going back up. So you could pretty much go, like, if you came in and you saw this, like, on that day, you saw it was, like, kind of going down, like, you just get on it, like, yesterday. Oh, which is where I got that 200 from off the top. Because um, I was just like, yeah. And I had got in on it, you know, when this was probably peaking. So, took them racks. And the RSI, that's what they say is overbought, right? So, you, the currency is overbought. Boom. So, that's when they're like, all right, it's overbought. Like, we need to, you know, lower the price. That's when they start selling. And when it gets down here, that's when it's undersold. I mean, oversold. So, boom, they start buying. And that's just how it works. And it really is that simple. And that's what I'm talking about. I always win, see? But look. And if I don't win... It's because I just didn't want to win. I was just like, all right, whatever. I don't want to pay attention. <clears throat> like, let's say you got a, an idea, right? Like, you have a good, a pretty good feeling. And so just to get, like, some confirmation, right? Boom, go to tradingview.com. It's actually a pretty cool site. It has a whole lot of stuff on it. Like, I don't use nothing on this site. Except, you can just go to markets here, look at daddy, boom. So if y'all open up an account, boom, come holla at me, follow me on here. And we'll start taking this market to another level, you know what I'm saying? So look, go to markets, currencies, and right now I'm doing majors. Let's look at uh, like the pair that I'm trading now. AUD, C8, you know, CAD. That's not a uh, major, so. Alright, so AUD, CAD. Where you at? AUD, CAD. Boom. So take a look. Let's go look at some ideas. So people will come on here, like, so I could share, like, an idea on here, which I probably will. So this is 22 hours ago. We're on the people's ideas. They Someone posted this. Look, this guy posted that. That's his analysis. He put that chart together. If you come over here, but that was 22 hours ago. See, they already... Uh, well, I don't know. I don't want to open and see what the analysis was, but it could have been... Uh, anything but look so you click this that's the most recent most recent chart four hours ago look they're saying the same thing short sell on it well i'm already selling on a big pill but look he's right right here it's gonna drop all the way right here but before it does all that, it's going to bounce, like, far back and forth. But all that could change in a heartbeat, <clears throat> like, depending on the news. So we'll take a, I mean, that's basically what I wanted to show you on this. Look, this guy. Gonna go down to here, 81, 11, 42. Yeah, look how far. 81. Like, let's say, like, based on my position where I'm at right now, let's say I go in and I wanted to add a, like, I say, okay, I'm done with it at this, at this level here. What did I say it was? This guy thinks it's gonna stop at like 85, 
seven one. Boom, forty eight dollars trading with ten cent. Shit, but <clears throat> I'm gonna get more than that because I'm not waiting for it to drop all the way down here. Although I know that's what it's gonna do. So what you do is you add, see this thousand right here? You add that, cause right now it's just 10 cent, but you bump it up. That's how you get them pips. But anyway, that's what they call it, the pips, when you move, when this goes up and down, the, the movement, you know, one pip, two pips, whatever. So I'm gonna catch me some pips on this. And like this thing been doing this, it's like since like 10 this morning, it's already like went and uh, you know, back and forth. So I think that's about it. That's all I wanted to come on here and show you. I'm, that was, that was my, I'm keeping my word, basically, because that was my whole intention from the get-go. So, stick around, big pimp. I'm going to show y'all how to do it. All right, then. Hey, y'all stay up, stay safe. All right. Peace.